What up, everybody? How y'all doing? As always, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Stacked episode. Oh, it's stack stack, baby. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of guests. Stizzled. Uh, we got some new shows that mm-hmm. we're about to talk about uh, that our friends are doing, and it's amazing. Very excited. We've both been a part of it. Uh, but we got some special guests. We're going to get started with the special guests. Uh, first and foremost, you've been seeing a lot of him lately, uh, and that's because he got exonerated for the charges that were against him. And he's back from Ohio, ladies and gentlemen, producer, creator, uh, comedian, <laughs> Uh, showrunner and uh, business owner. He has a, he has a couple of studios. Mm-hmm. Please welcome back to the show, Lactose. Mr. Dion. Hey. Hey. How does it free? How does it feel to be free? Um, I I can't complain. I'm giving ends to my friends, and it feels stupendous. You know. <laughs> okay. And it feels stupendous. Nice. Okay. Coming in with a little biggie right there. Yeah, well, at least I can do. It. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're we're very excited to have you. Thank you, man. Thank uh, you. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, this man is a. Movie star, okay. Mm-hmm. Let's let's not downplay. Mm-hmm. I'm not yeah. downplaying my friend's success. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This brother is a movie star. You probably grew up on some of his famous films. You've seen Holes. One of my favorite films yeah. is Walking Tall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Knew this man for years and never put it together. I was like, oh, you was a smart mouth ass little. <laughs> yeah. I would have pushed you down trying to hang with drug dealers and shit. <laughs> um, content creator, uh, business partner, Thank business you. owner, yeah. uh, and TikTok million. Subscriber, Woo! a million that follower, the owner. M. He got the M, ladies and gentlemen. M. And a gamer. Let's not forget gamer. Too. This, mm-hmm. He does it all, ladies and gentlemen. Very yeah. excited to have him here. Mr. Cleo Tommy. What's going on, y'all? Very happy to be back on Damn Internet. You scary. We are very happy to have you. Can we you know not what? skip past the drip, though? The yo. drip is crazy. Ooh. Make a man. Here's the thing. Let me, let me, let me. Last Come year. On, man. Ooh, that's a week. <laughs> Last year, me, Cleo, Pat, uh, we went down to San Diego for the San Diego uh, Comic Con, mm-hmm. and Cleo had a chain. It was a plastic chain. It was a dope chain, but it was plastic. Mm-hmm. This year, you, you see what the fuck going <laughs> he put, on. He, 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 you he, see yeah. what a, the difference a year he made? Some, he yeah. put some diamonds in Come on, It was now. a year to date, Cleo, Yo, we had the other chain. On. He done and made those, it And now those plastic ones will still be on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll I be on the them. shelf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Christopher Kites, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, that bro. I decided, that, this that this has been a dream. Like, this is literally one of the things for, for a long time. I was like, you know what? When, it's t- when the time comes and I want my first custom chain, I never knew what it was going to be because mm-hmm. I'm into so much stuff. Mm-hmm. And then this year, finally, I was like, you know what? I need something to represent my gaming and something that represents, like, my love for Disney. So I just got both. I got Mega Man X and Powerline. That's fucking dope. That's yeah, dope. I'm very happy to have ain't, ain't it, First of all, ain't it amazing to be able to do something that you've always aspired to mm-hmm. do? Yeah. You're mm-hmm. doing it on your own accord, your yes, own sir. terms, and the 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 benefits that you're able to reap, you're able to like bring other dreams alive. A hundred percent, brother. That's 100%. so crazy. hundred percent. It's it's mm-hmm. wild because I do I think we've had a discussion before. I feel like I come from the last uh era of when it was a like golden Hollywood rules. Yeah. It was like you just you just only can do it this way. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then something yes. sh- I saw the, the space changing as far as entertainment. I invested my all into myself, and here we are. You know what's crazy? It's, you make that point, and it, and it makes me realize that if you weren't at an age, like if you weren't in that last little batch of golden, it might be hard for you to make that switch. Because mm-hmm. it even took me a long time to make the switch mentally. Mm-hmm. I grew up, I knew I wanted to be in entertainment. Yeah. I knew I wanted to be an actor, a comedian, but I thought that the only way to do it was a movie or a sitcom. Mm-hmm. When I went to London, more people recognized me from all deaf Wow. Than Insecure, than Brooklyn Nine Nine, than any other projects. Out. The internet made me achieve or helped me achieve my dreams more than Hollywood did. Damn, there man, it man, is. you scary. There that it shit is, is that, that is pretty really fucking scary. scary. Damn, oh, internet, man. shut it up, man. Listen, man, <laughs> we got some amazing people here. This is for you. This is just a shot of. Mm. Uh, do you drink? Kimmy? I do. Okay, I, you know what? Because the last couple of times I feel like. You didn't drink as much, or you didn't drink? Oh, so. I was, oh no. Okay, no, no. okay. Yeah, last couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> last couple of times at, at Blind Barber, I didn't really see. He was just sitting down, so I was like, maybe Cleo ain't Man, them drinks was getting put away okay, on my okay. side. We also got Hippie Goes in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Hippie Goes. Get, get on Bang. camera. This What's is good? a special episode because uh, this the, the, the show that we're going to talk about uh, was Hippie's creation, and it started from a debate that she was having with Dion online about... Mm-hmm. Uh, savory of uh, sweet grits, mm-hmm. and she made it into a goddamn yeah. show. It has been produced. Yeah. You guys have how many episodes? Eight, Eight episodes. Woo. Cleo's the host. Yeah. Dion and Pat were the first episode. Yeah. So we got a fantastic show, and the producer uh, of the show, Mark, he's going to be here very shortly. So uh, give a round of applause. Director. Yes, let's give a round of applause. Two bit, two bite. 
And we're gonna also take a shot. Shots on deck. I get this is a heavier one. I'll give you this one here. So this is a this is a double reposado. Ooh. Yeah, it's very smooth. It tastes like whiskey. And this is to new projects, new health, wealth, and success. Damn yeah, like right. Cheers. 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 How often do you do that, man? That was that was very fast. Mm-hmm. I tweak them with Mark a lot, and Mark makes you do a uh, toast every time. He makes you do a toast. It bothers me, so I just be trying to drink. That didn't taste like. It did not it taste did. like tequila, right? Yeah. It tastes like whiskey. Yeah. It's super smooth. I got the bottle right here. It got the. And it's so dark, right? Mm-hmm. And it comes with an extra shot on top. Second nigga look like this. <laughs> it <laughs> is a man. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, really but... was... <laughs> the glass is cool. He was like, "You need something." <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'm taking the this. The bottle is crazy. I need this in my yeah. Life. This is who, who makes amazing. This? Uh, Addict, Addict, Addictivo, Addictivo. Who is this? Thank you very much. Who's the celebrity face? I only. I don't drink, know. It could I be us. Drink well endorsed. It could be us. <laughs> well I, I, endorsed. Since liquors. I had it the first time, I probably, which is probably like maybe three months ago, I have bought probably twenty of these. Wow. Damn. Because this is like it's so smooth. Goddamn. You'll finish the bottle. Yep. Like we open it, we, we take this first shot, and then me and Farron, we will go through this the bottle. The first shot is in the top. Yeah. That's Who the whole used time. to do that that doesn't do that anymore? What? What bottle used to have the shot? Like you could use the top as a shot glass. There used to be an old tequila bottle that was uh, clear, and it w- used to be able to do that, but they don't do that anymore. Well, Niggas need to bring the thermos back. Remember how the, the, the top was the cup? Oh, yeah. And you oh, screwed it in? Shit. I got a flask liquor fl- with uh, liquor thermos. A, a, a top as a shot glass. It has a plastic one, and then there's a metal one that goes on top of it. Yeah. And that's your shot glass from the flask. Man. You want to pass it? Will you be on. judged for like having a flask like in this era? I think I think we it's were very just mature. talking about that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's very mature. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what was because, argument? Because like <laughs> was my argument? argument was like everywhere I drink, you're allowed to drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, good so, point. Like, for me, a flask is like some shit that you like look around right. for. Right. Yeah. Like, you you, you're back. going to get judged for it because you it, are. It, it, it screams a alcoholic. A lot of places don't serve the alcohol. You're not gonna find this at the typical bars we go to. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to go to a, a tequila base bar or a very upscale one where you, you're paying $40, $50 for a cocktail. How many ounces is, in, is in a flask? Mine is... I don't know, maybe 13? Just get a cup that has 13 ounces. No, man. <laughs> well, if nah, you, if you can't you wanna, walk in with a cup. If you yeah. want to save money, that's probably... That's actually a pretty big yeah. reason. And if you use it, like if you're at a restaurant that maybe doesn't even serve liquor, right. if you use it to like spike that's what just, you get, yep. God, that's yo. the I, judgment is like, oh man, that guy's really cool. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> maybe you like, take you straight like, to the head. Honey, honey, look at this guy. You like this? Yeah, fuck yeah. this goddamn man. Yeah, but if you if you're doing it sneaky, <laughs> then it in the coffee <laughs> suspicion, right? If you're doing sneaky, but if you like, yeah, hey, looking around the smiling, just smiling, hey. get down, yeah, and put it down. I put the I, I sneak was does make it weirder. The sneak does make it weirder. It's very weird. It's like, oh, oh. If you're but just if you like, I ain't paying for this shit. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, that's the nigga old school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a respect yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you have to see somebody in the, in the Avatar movie theater like, okay, you're going to spike this guy. Well, first of all, it's dark. You need to be focused on the screen. Why the fuck are you looking around <laughs> in the movie theater? You're a little, nah, nah, you're a little. I'll try to make a why little noise. Why you get your flask, bro? I will try to make the, the screw off noise. <laughs> <laughs> we also said it's actually more. Uh, it's probably more suspicious if it's not liquor. Imagine it was like juice <laughs> or, like, yeah. or like I, chocolate milk. And I told him I'm taking creamer to one of my favorite restaurants. Yeah, that's okay. crazy. Right. Well, yeah. they, I like coffee with my breakfast, and they don't have flavored creamer. A flask of creamer is wild, though. You have to understand. <laughs> I understand how wild it is. It does sound pretty But I'm a, I'm, wild. A, I'm a coffee perfectionist, and if okay. I can't have the coffee I want, I'm at least have the creamer I want. That makes yeah. sense. I can't do I both. I can't so do without funny, both. Okay? I get that. I the funny thing is the preparation. It was like, where we going? Oh, shit. They ain't got my cream. Where hey, my flask at? Listen, I have, <laughs> I have multiple flasks. I probably have six or seven flasks. I got two with my name engraved on it. I yeah. got one with a saying from me. And then I got that leather bound one that I was telling you about. That's the man, that one. Is, Why do you have your name engraved on it? Like, you get it confused at a baggage claim or something? No, I don't want Farron drinking out of my flask. She okay. has her own flask. The name engraving is tight as hell, though. Like, like I, that's I, my I, shit. I was gifted a couple of them, and it doesn't even matter. It could be a box. If, yeah. if it's engraved, it yeah. just makes it cooler. It yeah, doesn't man. Even, it could be something you don't even want. Yeah. I, I look at it in my Bible and I'm like, thanks, Dad. I'm never opening that again. <laughs> but it's still engraved. <laughs> Wait, let me get your gun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, um, yeah, man, thank you. I, I feel like if we were all at a group dinner and you looked over and saw him with a flask mm-hmm. pouring, you would mo- most likely like hope it was whiskey and not white. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. All right. So listen, man. We got uh, we got enough people, and we're in our uh, studio. So do we want to? Do we dare attempt to do 
Oh, with four? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, cool. We're not going to take a lot hey. of time because we already run up a little behind, so I'm just going to do a beat. And y'all know how this goes. I feel like both of you guys have been on here before. What's the, um, what's the genre? What are we doing? Uh, let's just go with... Dr. Seuss. Let's rap like... Ah, that might be a little hard. I was going to say what? like like they used to talk in like Game of Thrones time or medieval times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, bro, that's cool. Shit. Somebody's right. going to go Jamaican. If it's oh, me, I know I'm, my British is going to start off strong British and it's going to get to Jamaican. Idris Elba style. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, what boy. is, the, what uh, is uh, happening? Is this fan all we on? Because it is it's it's hot. Little, yeah. It is very hot. Let's, let's, let's oscillate it and yeah. It's going to get hotter. It's the okay. shots, y'all. Here we go. Nah, it ain't got nothing to do with the shots, boy. Here we go. Uh, so just as a refresher, we're trying to rhyme words with... Scary, like damn, and that you scary. Met this chick named Mary. Damn, she was hella hairy. Something like that. It's in the mm-hmm. but it, always you want to get that in there at least one time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here we go. <coughs> British accent. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Thou hear the beat, don't thy? I'm just chilling here in my castle, sipping on some tea with my homies. Here we go. I met a harlot, got blown like a trumpet. Now I'm here eating tea and crumpets. Damn internet, you scary. I like my girls very hairy. Down there, like a forest with a fairy. Hey, and I'm damn here, I'm damn near, damn near in a bra with the dairy. That's some big old jugs, you heard? Hey, now I'm there. Hey, I'm chilling with a harlot. I'm here like garlic. The letter on my chest is so scarlet. Whoops, I done farted. Hey, <laughs> now I'm gonna pass it on to my right. Yeah, that's right. Cleo's here. He's so knighted. Hey, are you frightened? Damn internet. Go ahead. Okay. Hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey. The king has called me to come to the castle. Okay. It's time for a battle. A battle. His queen looked fine. Fine. Oh, so divine. So divine. Hey. Her name was Mary. Mary. Invited her over. Over. Let her know that tonight things are going to get scary. So spooky. In the I'm going to pass it to the right, though. Right. Dion, let them know, though. Oh, let them know. Do you like the party? Oh. I don't have an accent. I can't party nobody. Oh, that's a, a nigga. I am rapping because I am the man. Because I can do what I can cause like a trash can man. Uh, oh. <laughs> trying to figure out to get into scary because my, right, you know, my back is hairy. They call me Harry and the Hendersons and y'all be like, yo, where is my sins? I'm like, I got a gluttony problem. I can't do the accent, so this is... <laughs> You're not British. You're not British. What is this fucking rubbish? I hey. started off with the lolly dotty, right? <laughs> Even that was slick, Rick. Even that was too slick. <laughs> See y'all like, you ain't slick. <laughs> That's this shit. There it is. That's this, this is shit. Trash. Yo. <laughs> the way you started, though, with the slick, Rick, I was like, oh, he finna go in. Remember the first dotty. time we had Dion on here? I was bragging about how good Dion could rap. <laughs> this nigga got on here and fell back <laughs> on the track. <laughs> Crashed through a window, fell on top of a used car. Used car. Oh, I got rid of the goddamn car two weeks ago. I can write. I told you, I can yeah, write. Yeah. Do it like I can, that. like a trash can Boy. man. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I like that. All right. Well, well. First and foremost, we got Cleo. He he came through trying to be the very best. What'd you pull up with? Be the very Yo, best. I got back into Pokemon cards. And this came from Twitch or TikTok. I've, I've been seeing the, the this, clips. Uh, so here, here's the thing. I saw someone's Pokemon cards recently, and they were, like, all gold on the back. Mm. I'm like, when the hell did they drop those? Right. Turns out those are fake. Okay. Those are You can buy those off of Amazon. Gotcha. And gotcha. I was like, oh, okay, Good. well, then let me go and look at what Pokemon cards have become. So I started, like, legit opening up packs and seeing all these different Pokemon cards that are out there, like these are the and ones these we are the grew old up ones. With. Yeah. These are the older school ones. Remember these, you right? You just got these. Yeah, but these came in like so they did like a 25th anniversary pack, so they mm-hmm. like remade all the ones that we grew up with. But the fact that now it, it all it used to just be about the holographic part here. The fact that they have like full holograph stuff now. Yeah, it's the, weird. I was just about to say the picture covers the whole thing. Now. The fact that they have like reverse hollow. What I mean by that what is like look, that at, look at the flame at the bottom now. The, the holographic stuff is here. Oh, it's no longer shit. here anymore. Oh wow. They went that deep with this stuff. Hey man. So I've been back in just kind of like yo. We saw that during the pandemic, right? Uh-huh. 
those, those prices started spiking. Mm-hmm. So it took 20 years for that to happen. When we were kids, that's when we were supposed to hold on to them. That's a long time to be holding on to Pokemon I was cards. About to, I was just about to ask, because the whole thing about Pokemon cards and collector's yep. items was like, one day when one I'm day. older, mm-hmm. it's going to be more. Yep. Do you think it, they reached that? They did. Because I feel like a lot of us kept them, and, and the, the, the top ones I see being sold are like 70000 80000 which mm. is a lot. Right. But it's like... Was that enough to waste your whole life? I think if, <laughs> if you were like if you were holding on to them kind of cars, then for sure. Like this, the fact that this one, like this is how you these guys sell them at that level. Okay, like so I didn't know pretty, this let as me, a kid. Let me ask you this because I'm ignorant. So if someone what is had, Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking start. I right hear now. the name Pokemon. Is that man right? I hear oh, Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh. Pokemon. Is that the same as a Pokeball? Like Are these Pokemon? edible cards? That's like uh, number seven at the Robin spot, right? Pokemon. Oh my god. Let's start from step one. So, so since these are creations of people's like illustrations and stuff. Mm-hmm. So if someone had a Michael Jordan Ricky card. And, yeah. that, and he turned out to be Michael Jordan. Yeah. It becomes more right. expensive. So how does this gain value? So according to what I've like researched on the internet, it really is about like where this stuff is like placed. Even the artwork down to it. Like even with this, see, like it says uh, the corners eight point five, edges eight point oh, surface nine point five, centering nine point five. Oh. That's what makes it up to be like the rate of like a ten. So the fact that they're pretty much betting this off of the machine that makes oh. it right. That's the crazy That's part crazy. about that. So somebody can like, I'm going to give you a little cheap cool. Dope as shit. But my, so you bring that up, and then I, I went into like a very deep rabbit hole wondering, how come throughout the years, higher tax bracket than us, right? Mm-hmm. How come theirs thing has always been baseball cards? Why is it? Because even when I walked in to buy new Pokemon cards, the big room mm-hmm. was for the baseball cards. Well, I mean, it's, it's one of the oldest sports in history. Right. Uh, okay. It's America's, like, it, you, it, it's coined America's pastime. Right. Mm-hmm. So that right there is going to hold some weight. And, like, it, it set the standard for, like, MVPs and superstars and just, like, superhuman abil- ability, like, with Babe Ruth and things like that. And right. you get their rookie cards, too, versus... That's a real person versus a card, and not saying that the person that created all this stuff isn't as a, a, amazing, but like this is like a physical feat, I guess. Yeah. Well, and okay. sports are a bigger industry, so they're just by nature are going to have more people wanting it because sports are a huge thing in the United States. Right. So it's just going to surpass it because of that. Because people who aren't like into nerd culture and Pokemon and that may be into baseball cards. Got it. It seems so. like p- p- like. Those cards were early magazine covers. Were were, were athletes gracing like ma- magazine covers like that when people were really into? I think those the, type of cards? I don't think like those magazines were out back then. Like Sports Illustrated like, is. Yeah, like there were those. Like, there was like the yeah. sports column of the, yeah, newspaper, the newspaper, maybe. Yeah, right. Right. But like a, a whole magazine. So this was like yeah, mm-hmm. I got a photo. I get that. No internet. I get that. <laughs> yeah. That, that was always because I, I was a kid and I had a friend whose whose older brother had a legit closet. Full of poke, I mean, excuse me, full of baseball cards that his dad passed down to him. Damn. Mm. And I'm like, why is it always the higher tax bracket mm. guys? Yeah. It's only baseball cards. Mm. What the fuck? Like, what is the? Because they're probably they were ever, probably never introduced to Pokemon as a kid, and they just were into sports. Yeah. And they old as hell. They're old as fuck. Let's start oh, there. Man. Yeah, you niggas is you old as funny, hell. What if you pass that down to your kids? They'd be like, what am I gonna do with this shit? And you just kind of like. I'm pretty hey. sure that's already <laughs> happened though. Look, you, you that person? I am that person. Ooh. No joke. I had. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all were talking about it, and I'm like, oh man, baseball cards. Like, yeah, I had a bunch of those. You doing what? No, I took them to the, I took them, took them to my class in the eighth grade. And when I took them to school in the eighth grade, I was showing everybody my baseball, basketball, football cards. And when I showed it to them, I didn't care. I was just letting them pass it around the room. Oh, they, they no. started, they just started plucking wow. them out and stuff like that. Let's pass them to your dad. You got robbed. Oh, oh, yeah, I did not imagine he had a Shaq rookie card. Uh, he had a Kobe rookie card. I didn't know. I was just like, yeah, oh. look at my card. Yeah, shit, LeBron oh. rookie card. Oh, well, back then, those were the, the icing on the cake. Those who, the one I got stolen, that made me upset. Was my rookie Sean Kemp card. Now this is how little I knew. About what the heck I had because right. I had a rookie Sean Kemp, and that one made me upset. Mm. He ain't worth not all the other. No, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Right now, Shout nobody cares. Sean Kemp. Kemp. Sean Kemp. That That's made me upset. Crazy. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we got Mark Wesley in the building. Make some noise. Ooh. He was a director of the new up? show, Two Bite Rule. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about that in a minute, man. Uh, we just got through going through an amazing tutorial of, of Pokemon cards. <laughs> Weird. I wonder what like the original Pokemon cards were. Like, if you had a pack from like. 
ninety four. Okay. Like what those would go for. Yep, I looked it up. Okay. Right. <laughs> so uh. the pack, like the actual booster pack. Remember, we used to just buy the individual ones. Yeah. But yeah. they was come in a box, like the <clears throat> actual first edition box from back in the day can sell well over for thirty grand. <laughs> with the chance, right? With the because oh. it's you're, with the chance of oh. hopefully pulling and it could be nothing. that chart. It could be so nothing. Somebody could drop thirty bands and get and get a bunch of just regular bullshit. things with no holographics. But wow. that if that Charizard card is in there, yeah, from that era, yeah. Hey, imagine they tried to get niggas and made rookie <laughs> cards. Like, imagine how much a Pikachu rookie card would go for. <laughs> <laughs> what would it, what, like? What would it, like a, a a Patrick Cloud rookie card go for? Uh. <laughs> When it's all said and done, like, like a oh, when year, it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, year one at all that. Ten thousand dollars. That's it. That's you get, you get, you get the core with pad with no with no hair. No it's like yeah, the, yeah. the low cut pad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You no, know, it's me like jumping like Jordan, but I'm getting swatted. Too. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't do that good on my rookie year. Were you, were you, were you like a, when you first started working? What, what, what was your first job at Alda? Uh, intern. Yeah, that that'd be your intern. That'd be your rookie card right there. Internship. Taking a picture, you like hold some coffee, like. <laughs> so here, what was your first job? Your very first job ever? Uh, working at the junkyard. I did not expect that. Yeah, okay. I worked at a junkyard Definitely. pulling uh, aluminum from uh, cars. People got too close. It was a junkyard. <laughs> <show, laughs> <yo. laughs> I'm gonna clock out. <laughs> <laughs> Undo me. Oh, shit. Undo me? Undo my spike. Bro. <laughs> That's funny. Bro. Oh, yeah. That I, just, I used to pick up cans of strip cars of aluminum breakdown, carburetors, and other things for copper. And, uh, yeah. You, you, you would fill it up in a, in a barrel, this big plastic blue barrel, uh, white or, or black, and you would take it up there, and they would weigh what you got, and that's what they paid you by. Oh, shit. You must use the rats. Rats? It wasn't. It we didn't see a be. lot of rats. Really? Uh, That's the junkyard. project for the rats. Yeah, but it was just. I don't know. Maybe because it was always so loud. They found the places that weren't as loud. So oh. like. Oh, so you like, just didn't and see they're, it. they're more nocturnal. And there's probably not a lot of food in it. Yeah, it's oh, not a whole yeah. lot. Yeah. I thought that was like, trash. Right. It's no, 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 this no, is, no, no. This no, was like a car junkyard. Like junkyard. Yeah, yeah. That junkyard is more like for cars and stuff like that, and maybe some other like bigger things and refrigerators, air conditioners, that type of thing. But it was mainly cars. That's why I learned to drive it too. In that junkyard, I started working at that junk. We started working at Marty's and Cold. The cars Care. worked. Uh, some of them, some of I mean, they would be badly damaged. Impose, you might have to like impose. might move some stuff around, but like you could start them up if you if the battery was good. Because they would sometimes yeah, they people jump. would leave the keys. Because sometimes people would like pull parts that they needed from cars there too. It was a junkyard, mm -hmm. but it was also like a a, a pick and pull. Uh. So like okay yeah so if you oh, needed so like a, repoed a, cars would go there not not repoed but like oh. just like damaged cars of cars that people just left for pickup or they donated mm -hmm. or something like that and it might have been total so like a car could be total but still run if it has ah, if it yeah, has yeah. frame damage it'll be totaled out because right. it'll never be you know 100 percent a car so an you original know car. car huh do you know I steal a car Dion because they don't leave keys yeah he left that out there I was like wait a minute I'm like how these cars. You Junkyard plus East St. Louis. <laughs> you like, you like the it's called resourceful, part. okay? <laughs> and if it comes down that's to that's a lot of knowledge. If it comes down to a zombie takeover, you motherfuckers <laughs> gonna want me on the team. This is true. So this is true. This is true. Watch your mouth and your giggles. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the type of nigga that will get bit, get bit, and not tell the colony. <laughs> I just leave on my own. I would do that. I'm good, y'all. I'm good. Nah, nah, nah. I leave on my own. I wouldn't do that. Shit. I leave a letter. I'm good. It'd be dramatic as hell. Damn. I'm taking the walk as far as I can with you guys. Be tough. What would y'all? How would y'all process that? How would y'all do that? Y'all got bit, and you're just like, oh, that's, not <laughs> that's not that bad. Wait, it depends on where you get bit, though. It's just a scratch. Where? No, you got bit. Just okay. So if I got bit on the arm, I'm asking somebody. Would you to tell cut everybody. My arm off. I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm saying this depends on where you question. get bit. Would you tell everybody. Absolutely. Cut you, my arm off. I ain't trying to get left out in the cold, man. Y'all no, gonna leave me outside. But you gotta cut that I mean, arm off. Oh yeah. Fast. See now, if it's here. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. But you oh, know yeah. there's going to be some crazy <laughs> niggas in the group that's like, oh, cut your arm off. Nah. No. no. Hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, like that. So that's you got to you would do. You got to be careful about that. So you got to find the one person you trust enough to be like, yo. Okay. But there's niggas that just are waiting for that. Even when I cut the arm off, then that cat like you going to say, hey, man. But that's you can't tell the You can't tell the village like, hey. When I show up with one arm. You knew I got bit. No, but there's nah. gonna be the person that's like, my daughter's here. Like, I'm not gonna take, <laughs> take Nobody that. Nobody's gonna kill. Oh, All we got is these plastic butter knives. Apparently, I'm in the wrong color. Hurry up! <laughs> I'm not telling the group. If that's the 
Colony, man. I'll figure out what it is. I'm in the wrong colony already. You want to play out, man? You got to go to the doctor and have it one-on-one. You got to cut it off so fast. So fast. No, but what if there was just a butter knife? That's all the only option. Just jump off the cliff, baby. This is the time. This is like, like let's see if you can really prove the oh I can fly God. theory oh, wrong. Let's see. Shit. Can you imagine like a, a 15 minute of this? Uh, <laughs> uh, like, like, 127 days? It, Bro, yeah, you, the now you want a bone? That one, uh, hours, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I want a bone now. <laughs> he did uh, he, he had was a, a what? It was like, like a Swiss army. It was like a, knife. Yeah, it was yeah, a little yeah, multi tool. Oh, the multi tool. Imagine just just like breaking through the skin. Then you got to go through the tendons. And, and all the nerve the in bone, there, and then the bone. He said, "What the bone? What?" He said, "Once he got to the bone, it didn't hurt as much." As yeah. much, as much. Right. But, but, but he said the nerve was. It looked like spaghetti, and yeah. that hurt like yeah. crazy. I wonder if he yeah. cut like like evenly around, or he got like this way. He didn't have to or get like the more meat. <laughs> yeah, he had to go through more meat uh, after the bone. Uh, Did he cut it like an avocado? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go around and the funny thing is, he, it was him doing it. So yeah, imagine, yeah, he might pass that like. Yeah, I that. Okay, that's, that's, if you were hitting straight up nerve with something dull, yeah. you probably doing that. <laughs> just, just wake like back up. Like, oh God, keep going. <laughs> 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 How is nobody hiking over this rock? <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine, like, right when it was cut off, like, somebody's like, hey, hey. who's down there? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's down there? <laughs> hey, dog, it would be hard for me. It would be hard for me to go back to church oh, ever. Oh, I'm God, like, oh, God, God, I got a sick sense of humor. Oh, God. Who's down there? <laughs> <laughs> we, were here, we were here six hours ago, but we were, we were yelling down to make oh, sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> like right when your uh, hand hits the floor. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Hey, who's down there? We're here with the co-star. I'm a paramedic. I'm a pyramid. I'm a strong pyramid. I can take the motor myself. We got a bulldozer. We got a bulldozer here. A Sorry, it took a long time you to get the bulldozer. Oh, my gosh. Yo, y'all are sick. Yo, man. that's not yeah, yo, 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 sick. That's a messed up thought, bro. <laughs> We literally oh. have everything you need. Don't worry. <laughs> Remember that movie, The Fog? You ever seen The Fog? When that dude had, had killed yeah. everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the army came at the end. He was no, like, the myth. The myth. The myth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that man yeah. killed his kid. Yeah. yeah. He was like, ah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He said, no. <laughs> his screams oh, when, it, when it happened, though, was hilarious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gave it up, bro. Oh man, oh, that shit. would suck. <laughs> Tell you what doesn't suck: Manscapes beard. Hedger. Okay, mm. this is the pro mm. kit. Let Come me on. tell you something, man. You talking about one of the things I love doing is working with companies and seeing their That's their, little, their, their little fingers. Upgrade, all right. Oh, they done. <laughs> this box. They powered up. They powered all they the way up with up. the with Woo. the brochures and the packaging and everything. It even comes with some shears that you can use. This trimmer is the coolest thing ever. It has one guard, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can actually adjust the blade on the tool itself. So the blade goes up and down to meet the guard so you can get different lengths in your beard. I just did this myself. I, I, I went a little high on, underneath the beard, but okay. y'all can see the mm. different length, and I did this myself. This is something I used to go to the barber and have to do, pay $15 for. Mm. Now I can do this at home myself, save a little money, and I'm so excited about this. Also in the box, you get... Man, you get so much stuff. Outside of the shears, you get the beard conditioner, Come the on. beard balm. Beard balm. You know what I'm saying? You get the beard wash. I like Ooh. the shampoo. And you also get the serum right here, uh, the beard oil right here. Keep your beard looking all glossy. Show you the get extras. A, you get the comb. The wooden comb? The wooden comb. Both oh, sides, all right? Good. Boom. And you get a brush. I took the brush out earlier and forgot to put it back in, so I apologize. Y'all just don't have to imagine what a brush looks like. Mm. But let me it's tell you wooden, something. It's wooden, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's wooden, though. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's great. I love the fact that Manscaped is not only stepping it up, but constantly providing an outlet for men that want to take their grooming to the next level. There is no reason for you to be walking around here looking busted and disgusted. Long as Manscaped is in business, okay? Uh, the wheel that I was telling you about on the actual tool, it has you 20 hair cutting lips. 20. 20. 
Ow. 20. Damn. I thought there was just long, medium, and short. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah. We're stepping it up, all right? Plus, it's waterproof. You hear me? Waterproof. So you can shave in the shower to avoid all the hair getting in the sink and all that type of stuff. It is titan- titanium-coated T-blade. It's tough on hair but smooth on your face, leading to single-stroke efficiency, all right? So you ain't got to go over the whole bunch of times. Single-stroke. This is a pro kit that doesn't end there. Uh, they, <laughs> they created a dermatologist-tested formula for your post trim <clears throat> care. So you guys make after after you finish shaving, make sure you put that on. Especially if you, you know, you got that skin that will bump up, because there's some of us out there. Let's just say it. Black people, we be bumping up. I don't know if white people be bumping up like that when they shave. Cam, you no. bump up when you shave? I did when I was younger, but only not my pubes. Enough. Yeah, I think I think it's more because of our hair being so coiled. And that that's that's what I was told. It's coiled and then curls up under the skin and that's what, what creates the ingrown hairs. But either way, they got something for you. So make sure you use that as well. Uh, we hook people up. All right. Um, I told you about the things that it comes with. It comes with three free free gifts. You get the, the, the beard brush, the comb, and the scissors to ensure that you get the beard to the proper length to impress everybody looking. Right now, you can get nice. 20% off and free shipping. You understand me? 20% off and free shipping with the code DIYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. I don't like what you just did. I know. <laughs> Hey, I, I like, like how you brought up this whole manscape thing after I had to shave and I was messing with this bump on this side of my face. So that's why I'm glad y'all sat me over here. <laughs> because I got the one over here and I was like, mm-hmm. nah, man, man, I was going to be upset. Should've man I should have done that on a manscape I like how you train. did that. But hey, thank man. you for giving me the right seat. So hey, man, we out here. Show hey, that. Changing lives. So, yeah. two by rule. Yes. New yeah. show. Yeah. Who wants to tell us about the show? Cleo, you were the host. Mark, you were the director. Who, who, wants, who wants to jump in? And start, start with the director. Start with the director. Oh, man. So what will I say about the show? So, uh, Myself and Hippie, we had a conversation about doing a show that talks about food and the experiences that people have growth through food. Um, we are trying to find the perfect host for this show, and I talked to a number of different folks, and we landed on this man over here. Yes. yes. Um, who host made, extraordinaire. Thank yo, you, guys, man. You want to talk you. about someone who made this a very easy process, mm-hmm. um, especially with the amount of prep time that we had. This man came in. Did an amazing job doing this show. It was something that Hippie created um, and brought to me and said, hey, you know what? I think it would be cool to just talk about people eating Mm -hmm. and what they like to do, what they like to eat, what they grew up eating and things Mm -hmm. like that. And the moment we started filming, I knew we had something really special. Uh, Great host, great production team. Um, and really, something I'm excited about that premieres on Wednesday. So, oh, yeah. Super I want to take. I want to pause real quick because I want to let you guys know that even though Hippie is connected with me <laughs> and Pat and all the people, Kevin, all of this, we took. I took the show to the studio over a year before she told Mark about it, and they liked the idea. That's just like we don't know where we're gonna put it, right? Mm-hmm. And just to let you know, like she's connected, and it still took a year before the show to get yeah. greenlit. So persistent. imagine how difficult it is to get a show passed and produced and cut <coughs> and everything patience. But from a regular person. It takes patience, and this yeah. is something that you just got to constantly work at. She had this idea, and she did not let it go, and she pushed through, and she, and she linked with Mark, and Mark was the catalyst to really get it going. So shout out to Mark, too, because yeah, once he heard it, he you. was like, I like it. Let's easy do it. <laughs> that, that easy. Yeah. It's like a year of fighting and pleading, but he got to the right person, like, okay, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, That's crazy. It's That'd really funny, lesson. too, because at the end of the day, when she brought it, and she told me about the experiences that she had. I was like, it's not a matter of if the show's good or not. It's timing. Everything's yes. about timing. Yes. And honestly, at the time that she came and brought the show to me, and I said, yeah, I love these kind of interactive, just engaging talk shows. Because we always spend a lot of time just mm-hmm. it's thinking about, okay, it's about making folks laugh and never getting to know the people behind, yeah. right, the, right. Con- the, behind the jokes. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to do that. Yeah. I wanted to show where we can get to know the people behind that, even if it's just within the food atmosphere and just seeing how they grow through that was great. It's like a great said, show. It was, it, it was really fun. We had a great time, eight episodes. And again, like I said, couldn't have done it without the two people that sitting in here. Hippie, thank you. And this man over here, Cleo. Yeah. Cleo, you, Cleo is an amazing host, but he's also a stick in the mud because we had to try all of these foods, and Cleo opted out of every. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait! On our episode, we got him to do it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're and that oh, was the... I finally broke. Yeah. 
I am. Well, you've broken a few of them. There was a few that you did try. I got into it. Yeah. I, I was like, you know what? If we're here, you why not? Yeah. I did. He, I did. He, he, I did. He, he did. He did. He did. Do shit on my episode. No, he no. did not. I did not. <laughs> I did not. Because when they rolled out for to here, I was like, hey, we did <laughs> yeah, some what? shit on there. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. a great show, y'all. Please, yeah. please go check it out. Yeah. yeah. And the first episode premieres on Wednesday, and two of the folks that's in that first episode is also here as well. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. We made them eat something that I'm not going to talk about. No, but Because I'm not going to. Y'all ain't going to kick me out for naming this thing. I'm not, yeah, y'all not gonna do that I, to me. I personally don't I don't normally be trying stuff. <laughs> like when I, especially if I know I don't yeah. like it. Same. And it's funny because like I've always wanted to uh, like make or direct like a food or travel show and they're always trying stuff that's right. way outside right. of my palate. Right. But and I always was like in my head like ah, at some point I have to yeah. do that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm still I'm kind of <laughs> yeah. with Cleo like mm-hmm. I have I've, I've, I've sort of like a line yeah. I will go to Thailand and eat chicken strips. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, man. Man, like, I, like if it's something if it's something that I, I'm really uncomfortable with eating, I won't do it. But I did it for this show. So y'all, I, got, y'all this is rare. That's awesome. I, when I was in South Korea, they really do have dog farms. And really? they sell oh, for dogs just for me? It's not on the side mm. of the street. It's no, not a stereotype. It's they it's sell a on the side of the street like hot dogs. Yep. Like you can literally get hot dogs. Dog. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 weird. And it's like I have to try it since I'm here. Wow. Did you try it? I did try it. What? Okay, so are our, our flavors based on like species? I don't know like it, 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 it kind of just tasted like street meat to me. Like what does that mean? <laughs> like <laughs> That's like, like how you get like the the hot dogs or like the the euros on the side of the street in New York. Like it just kind of tasted that's like not that. Like the name of a male prostitute. Street meat. <laughs> Looking for that street meat. What type of dog did you eat? I, I didn't ask if it was collie or whatever. Right, right. I just Beef was like, let me get, I'm let sure me get the. And it was it, it was in hot dog form. Shit. No, it was like it was. It was like, yeah. Uh, I'm a dog person. Uh, uh, yo, that is killing Pat right now. I was <laughs> oh thinking, there's so many nah. people that's upset right now. Are they raised like like a farm or are they stray dogs? I didn't get all the information that's on it. I just important. heard like, yeah, we, I, well, there was a language barrier. Because, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dogs, you didn't know what like, you were having before you had their whole life and they're like, oh, he's dead. Let's, eat, let's chop him up. Or if he was raised like eating, oh, you know, good, healthy, and they were all house farm bad dogs. dogs. <laughs> 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 I want to ask all oh, y'all what oh, what's hilarious. the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? Uh, ass. Oh, <laughs> that was honestly my answer too. As a dog, is this ass? And, and, like, and, that's, is, that in this day and age, is that still the weirdest thing? Like, there's I so mean, many things that are weird. It's still weirder. somebody's ass, right? Yeah. It's still, oh, it's still yeah. a yeah. I mean, the Oops. exit, like even of somebody's waste. muscle. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so there's a lot of oops in here. Has everybody yeah, in this group eaten ass though? He didn't want to admit it. He like, he ain't I got, he's not I got a couple it. girls in the roster. I can't do that. You See, know. this is like this is literally like two bite rule right now. <laughs> what we're experiencing right now is two all of rule? us have tried it. Two, hey, two lick rules. If there was Cleo, a green light, light, if, if there was a green light up here and you had to press it for all for everyone if you did or not, all lights would be green. Oh, all okay, all right. Just all say you ain't ass. Everybody should be green. No. Just nah, say yes. Nah, nah. He ain't gonna give me no sound bite. He don't want no sound bite. We ain't gonna do that. Imagine y'all brought Smart ass man. out on two Smart bite rule man. though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's gonna be a season two. I promise. Yeah. We're doing one. a season yeah. two. I promise two you that. We had so much Yo. fun, man, shooting this show. Yeah. I, I gotta thank Hippie. I gotta thank Brennan uh, for, of course, coming coming with the entire package of this, man. And then Mark comes in. He's like, "All right, Cleo, this is what we're gonna do." Mm-hmm. And I, I I was so excited about the opportunity to host the show around food because there's a lot of stuff social media wise surrounding myself. And food, people call my palate like childish. Yeah, it is. Well, it, yeah, it well, is. yeah. It is. Okay, I knew. I, I need to say something on this. Go for it. Craft. Yeah. Mac and cheese. What about it? It's not. I have not spoken because I wasn't on camera, so I I didn't have any input on it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to agree with you, man. Oh, I thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Craft mac and cheese, man. Call it whatever you want, childhood memories or whatever. Whatever. I grew up on it. My family was broke, Jamaican broke, and they made horrible mac and cheese. Their mac and cheese was trash. Craft mm. mac and cheese, I used to eat it That's all the not time, fair. man. Wow. That's, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm waiting going for a response. He's, he's, not, wow. he's not privileged. What do you mean? He, he, his, 
it, the Mac in his life wasn't good. So right. he had all I he had. I baked Mac and cheese. By comparison, Kraft was better, which it, says a lot about the way he was raised. Exactly. If you were raised in a household where Kraft Mac and cheese was better than that wasn't homemade, fair. That, yeah, that's it, a yeah. shame. I'm because sorry. Make it, right. That needs to that's be an investigation. Hold on. That, see, we, we ain't, we're still talking about now. At my age, I've tried a lot of back, hey, baked wait. Mac and cheese. I You've still had mess idols. with... I have not had Ios. Oh. Now, see, hold on. I'm willing. I'm hey. with two bite rule, right? I will try you her sheltered. two bites and see and compare. You sheltered. But I'm still messing with. If a nigga had Sizzler his whole cheese. life, uh-huh. he's going to be blown Bars. away by a steakhouse Bars. steak. Well, I haven't been blown away yet. That's, That's what I'm saying. saying. If the... it's like, I've only been taking Sizzler steaks to the face, I've never had something that you don't need A1 steak sauce. Yeah. You can't argue. Sizzler steak is the I best. I have though. Bars. I've had so craft people's mac and cheese. I'm just saying. That I disagree, bro. I disagree. I've listen, had listen. four different experiences yeah. in my life of homemade I'm, I'm baked with you mac on that. and cheese, and none of palate. them with you on worked. That one, man. Listen, why we, while we're talking of, of being blown away Hello. and taking things to the face, I want to let you know that this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Okay? Hey. Oh. Let's talk hey. about it. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. Let's, let's, talk, let's, 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 hey. let's, let's, let's get into it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. Oh. I have a copy here that I'm supposed to be reading about. You know, Blue Chew yeah, delivers it. the same uh, active ingredients as Viagra, C. Allison, Levitra. Y'all know that. Skip past okay? that. Let's, 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 let's keep it real. Because yeah. I feel like at this point, Almost everyone in this room has tried Blue Chew at least once. Hell. Okay, you haven't tried it there, Cleo? Nope. Oh, man. Nope. Amen. I, 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 I thought man. I was going to be by myself. I was like, I've been Listen. Buy, buy a little backpack for your for your penis because it's going to adventure <laughs> into new parts of the pussy. <laughs> I have, I, I have, I literally have accessories. <laughs> I literally have accessories for my penis now because I feel like he deserves it. I got, yeah. I, I got sunglasses for my penis. Yeah. I got a little jacket because Oh Blue Chew has God. taken my sex game to the next oh level. Okay. Okay. okay, I cannot stop screaming from the mountaintops how amazing this product <laughs> is. Listen, if you ever wanted to see what it's like to be in certain type of videos where you it's good, it's good, and keep going, hey. this wow. is that oh. for. You, oh, man. I'm talking. Probably, probably, my max is probably like four times. Oh boy, it's a sensitive. And then being. it's okay, still man. just like really. You sold me on it's, that part right there. In your thirties, yes. Wow, late thirties. I'm thirty eight, baby. Oh boy, Damn. let me, man. Listen, it is. First of all, <laughs> I love the friend. fact that everything is done online. Okay, you don't have to go to the doctor with the awkward questions and all of that. You fill everything. You fill out a fo- short survey, and uh, a licensed health professional will get back to you very shortly. And as you, a, after you answer a couple of questions from them, your package will arrive to your de- door in a, in a couple of days. Right, Everything's done online. You don't have to go to no doctor's office. You don't have to go to a pharmacy. Ain't no waiting in line. None of that type of stuff. It is the best thing ever. I initially started. They gave us a free subscription when we first started. We, I think we might have got like a month or two months for free. And after that, I signed up. We lifetime members. monthly. Okay? Lifetime. And I went from, I think, uh, 15 milligrams to like, I think I'm at 30 or the 45 now. Man. This nigga zooted. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> I, yo, they come in different strengths? Yes, they do. He my got boy. the indica. They come in different strengths, and you can like you can order like if you want like uh uh seven for the month or Jeez. fifteen for the month. I think I'm on the twenty plan. And let me tell you something, them bad boys are getting used. Oh boy. You understand you, me? You, you go so that's your spinach for your Popeye, right? Oh man, Woo! listen. You not and, gonna... and you Woo! can take them anytime, day or night. Uh, Cancel if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna don't get... let your lady find out. Yeah. Uh, what, what happened? <laughs> what happened? You were beating it out the frame last month. You a little, uh, you a little lazy now. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. Hilarious. Uh, so we got a special deal for you guys, like we always do. Uh, you get to try Blue Chew for free. Okay. Woo. Why would For you? free, Dion, Cleo, you get to try it for free, Mark. Uh, all I'm you have to, to do is use our promo code DIYS at checkout. You just pay five dollars for shipping. That's five dollars to try something that could take your sex game to the next level. So visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Hey. We thank you guys for listening. Try it. Love Blue Chew. Try it, fellas. This is a new year. This is this is the top of the Why year. You not? can take it to the next level. Try it. Just use DIYS at checkout at bluechew.com 
and take it to the next level. That's all I'm gonna say. I can't show you. I wish I, Blue Chew had the rights to use Goku as their mascot. Oh boy. Cause oh. it would make so much sense. Mm. <laughs> but the glow should and only be around the waist. Just him <laughs> only around. Like, you know. You know. Yeah. And yeah. it's just Chi Chi in the back with the crutches. <laughs> 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 okay. Wait, I, 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 I uh, brought me out here on the day that y'all giving away manscaping because you saw this on my face. Oh no, I'm not giving away. This is mine. Yeah, this is. What are you trying to say, no, man? What are you trying to say? You just you know, you know my sex life. <laughs> <laughs> you in my business? It feels like you're taking the person. I so am you're now. A lot about I yourself. am now. So, let me ask you this: I, Is there something that you cannot huh? take with Bluetooth? As in, like, thank you, sir. Like, you know. Don't drink alcohol. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you can, I, again, go on Bluetooth.com and read all the safety okay. information and okay. all the facts of that nature. But I I, I take doctors? it all the time. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Yeah. I, I never... It'll tell you all of that, but no, you you can still drink. You can yeah, still yeah. drink my legs. I just take Maca Root. You what? You take the Maca Root? Ma- you don't yeah. take it. You just saw it on Instagram. I got oh, a Maca, ma- I'm a Maca Root guy. Maca Root. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Maca Root's cool. Yeah. Does it work for you? Yeah. That's, okay. That's impressive. Yeah. See, I'm familiar with that one. Oh, you know that? Nah, my career will have that. you yeah, hard in the traffic. <laughs> 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 like, what is, what's doing, what's doing it for me right now? A blinker? <laughs> oh, you said, tail light. you said, go. Oh, look at these what does this green light, light mean? Oh, yeah, tail. Oh, 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 look at that bumper. Oh, <laughs> look at the bumper on that car. <laughs> nah, that shit is too much. Um, uh, Hippie has something for us to test. Um, Hell yeah! Because the show is coming out, so I guess we're going to test something. Um, I'm I'm a little nervous about it because Hippie was the person that was deciding what we ate on the show, Mm -hmm. and uh, after years of friendship, I definitely had to question it. I had to question our friendship. We also have Brennan here, ladies and gentlemen. Brennan, Brennan, Brennan Brennan is a behind the scenes guy. He does not get enough credit for all the amazing work he does. He's also the twin brother of Alonzo. That's true. This brother is. I have not met a lot of people in my life that their word is their bond as much as Brennan. Yeah. This oh, motherfucker wow. says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. And if he's not able to, he, you know he's exhausted all efforts. I give him a lot of shit. We all do because I'm he is so an asshole. I'm so surprised by this speech right now. <laughs> he's such an <laughs> asshole, <laughs> but he is one of the most amazing people that I've met in my hey, life. And that's true that's again, that's I, I took it to him when I, when I first heard about the show, but I didn't. I, that's all I could do. Mark was able to be the vehicle that, that took mm-hmm. it from conception to actually being done, and Brennan's is the person that greenlit it. So uh, I want to give a shout out to Brennan too, Woo-hoo! man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Two by Rule is a really <coughs> interesting experience uh, because watching people try things that they haven't before, you think is interesting until you get the most interesting people doing it, um, <laughs> and that's I, I think that truly makes it, makes it special. And Cleo is absolutely hilarious because you're controversial. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, we already talked about the mac and cheese thing. You man. know, I really do feel bad for your childhood. It was obviously trash. Um, tru- <laughs> truly, I'm just saying. You so, too, you too, Mark. Don't you, you know don't you, point at me. I don't know. I have look, no problem with your mac. Well, I'm We've come a long way. Leave me look, alone. Oh, look, all I'm saying is that the show is absolutely fantastic. You yeah. have durian on it, which is one of my favorite things to have anybody try anywhere at any mm-hmm. time. Um, and we're super happy to be a part of it, man. And yeah. thanks, you know, Tigger, I didn't see that coming. You know what I'm saying? You're normally very petty, as everybody knows. I didn't see a, a gracious introduction. Yeah. It completely disarmed but me. Fun, I was defensive. Fun fact, though, oh, uh, the, the shitty drawings of, uh, that we made about Dion looked exactly like Brennan. Yeah. I need for y'all to draw. <laughs> <laughs> if draw you guys remember the one. Draw him. This is what I drew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is contact right now. Yeah. So we had drew right, pictures of Dion. The ones Dion. that didn't oh, really God. look like yeah. Dion looked exactly like Brennan. So. <laughs> like it absolutely looks oh, like him. Like, you stereotype just because we are dark-skinned, bald brothers. <laughs> Who aren't Shut your ball head ass yeah. up, man. <laughs> Get on out of here. I, you answer, that's enough compliments. Okay, what what, 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 what are we doing I feel, here? I, I feel like you guys are trying to get out of this. You keep having new conversations. <sighs> All right, I, nah, I'm man, we're just making fun of people. Scoot's over. All right, so I'm going this direction. Come on, what is that? Come on this Cmos. Uh, hey, I'll scoot. I'll scoot. No, no, you don't have to scoot. Is this Cmos? Right. Okay. <laughs> so what we have here <laughs> is we started off with Please shots, and we're gonna keep taking shots. Chlorophyll Keep shots. On. Shots of chlorophyll. chlorophyll. So I don't. You guys can't see it's it. Chlorophyll. Too much chlorophyll. Hey, you, you need to mix it up. Yes, yeah. 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 shake it up, yo. No, Wait a minute. You said like it. venom. Yeah. It's chlorophyll and aloe and something else and lemon. Yeah. So it's not You want? I need more alcohol. No, right? Can we mix with alcohol? No, just take. Oh. Pour a little bit, take the shot. Don't gonna, mix I'm it a, with alcohol. I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to chase it with alcohol. Yeah, do what y'all want to do after. They open the fucking 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, for you Yeah, make sure you shake that. You shake that. That's, that's for you guys. Right? Congrats. That's for you guys, man. Yeah. Cool. My gift to you guys. Happy New Year. I just did it again. Y'all making me nervous. Stain me, man. Stain me? No. Don't come to my team. I'll put this here. Yeah, watch Sleep it. You have some left in your cup? You want to shake it? Yes. Like some playing cards? I'll take it. I'll take it. That shit look like perfume. Pour a little bit. You got poison. Yeah, this is a little bit sweet. Oh, is that from me? No, this is for you. Here's cups. Oh no, that was mine, Smart. Put that back. Vmax, oh, no, they, they no, introduced no, that. No, yeah, no, I'm not gonna claim it. I'll take Vmax. Thank you. Like I, yeah, I don't want nothing to happen. You get, get something, yeah. and then I'm yeah. like, <laughs> "This is for me." Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The sleepy one, right? The yeah, sleepy got the sleepy Charizard. That sounds like a cool ass rapper name. So, okay. Where we? Who has the bottle? Who's who's doing this? So we no, do we it. Should do it. Shot this is her. This is her right? test. Is Hippie yeah. taking a yeah, shot with us though? Because I feel him. okay. Good. What are the We're benefits? We're doing this at the same this? time, yeah, right? I'll read it off the bottle. Oh my God! Whoa. That's, a, Whoa. That's, a, that's Whoa. a big shot. Yo, Hippie, come Why on! Do you give us a slime? <laughs> that's exactly what this looks like. Whoa. Okay. This is like this the secret. Like she gave me a uh, shot of plankton. Secret of the ooze. Ooh. This is a shot of algae. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Right I'm not excited yeah, for this. Mm. <laughs> you have to see like cool. Okay, so Ugh. very quickly before we take the shot. So the benefits. It do smell like ooze. God, my eyes are terrible. All right. Mm. Chlorophyll aids in maintaining a healthy you. weight and hormonal balance. Aloe vera. Hormones. Maintain skin health. Vitamin C high. Impotent. In... <laughs> Polyphenols. All right, and then it's got lemon and maple syrup. And I'm, my That's just random. Just these didn't sound yeah. like good enough upgrades. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, All right. I didn't hear well, better vision. Um, super <laughs> speed. Cheers. <laughs> yes, man. Cheers. Man. Cheers. Cheers. Like Cheers. Should give some Cheers. Two bite yeah. rule. When did it drop? It Two by rule. Wednesday. So this episode's out on Thursday. So it's already out mm -hmm. on the Kevin State Studios app by the time you're watching. Get the app. There hey, it is. Go app. watch it. Go enjoy Boom. the show. All right. Here we go. Watch. We'll see our reaction. Okay. Nobody in there. <laughs> no. Not that bad. It's not, not bad. bad. Not bad. Oh, okay. yeah. no, it tastes like, like a green taste. juice with yeah. more lemon. It tastes like Propel. Remember? Oh, yeah. Propel had me thinking I was healthy as hell. It was not. I am running. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, there it is. You want to finish the whole bottle? Yeah, it tastes like somebody didn't add no Kool Aid. Yeah, that went bad though. Yeah, that went bad. Cleo went to go throw up. <laughs> he said, uh, Cleo he skipped, he skipped up out of here too. <laughs> he was just Could like, you guys right. uh, just give me a second? Clears your palate uh, of uh, that, that nasty ass mac and cheese. That's what it does. So. <laughs> he probably got some in his car just queued up. <laughs> All right, we didn't get in any stories real quick uh, today, so uh, I think Pat might have a couple. We're going to pull up some. right now. We just tried some, uh, some chlor chlorophyll. Yes. Yeah. Chlorophyll, yep. chlorophyll. Difference. Chlorophyll. Um, that's not the only drink that is uh, apparently being disrespectful right now. Simply Orange mm. is under attack. Coca-Cola is being sued over claims that its all-natural Simply Orange juice has high levels of toxic chemicals. I know niggas love Simply. I love it. <laughs> but did you guys drink it thinking it was like, oh, this is a treat, this is juice? Or did a part of you think of because it was Simply and it had orange on it that it was a little healthy? <laughs> Yeah. I thought it was oh. the purest orange juice that you can get next to like going to a place and them actually juicing the orange juice. Right. Uh, juicing the orange. I think so too. I thought, I thought it was like that. I mm -hmm. thought it was the step below that. And the bottle looks fancy. I think it's, it's the slender. Most, yeah, it's like, ooh. It, it gives you that. Packaging, man. Marketing. Fresh, yeah. Shout out to the marketing teams because they really be getting our goofy ass. Man. What bottle does, What bottle water does it for you? That's like, ooh, it looks fresh. Um, Fiji, right? I used to like Fiji. <laughs> Fiji, Fiji, make, like, ooh, Fiji and Voss. Like too. Yeah. I was like, Voss, I was like, yo, they got enough money to make glass? Oh, yeah. like What's the juice? It's like that thick juice naked that, naked naked, naked mm. came out like it was it's incredibly mm. bad for you so many sugars yes. oh yeah and yeah. that to me thought like i thought that that was a, a healthy drink yeah. and apparently they use like browns and earth tones and greens to make you think yeah. that things yes. are like organic yeah. and they they're like i never really said the that mm -hmm. you just thought so because those boathouse juices are the, the same leaf. ones too they're like the naked ones boathouse juice uh what is it the green oh. machine oh, boba. huh come on boba no, Boathouse, Boathouse is the Boathouse. name of the, yeah. uh, the company, I think. Yep. But it, yeah, they just they it put a lot of sugars in all of that mm -hmm. shit. So, but I mean, with at what's least the stuff with, in the orange juice? What does it say? It said toxic chemicals. Yeah, I was about to say simply orange juice. We had we thought at at the worst it was a lot of sugar, but toxic chemicals seems like a lot. So, apparently, uh, the allegation is that the products contain toxic levels of PFAS. PFAS. Ah, damn it! 
P F A S P F A S are a, a, a long lasting no. complex group of <laughs> manufactured chemicals that are ingredients in various everyday products. Long term no, exposure to high levels of PFAS can lead to increased risk of kidney or testicular cancer, oh, oh. fetal complications, li oh. liver disease, as well as increased cholesterol levels. From orange juice? It's because your body yeah. doesn't get Simply rid of it. orange juice. Damn the best it. kind. That's Wait crazy. a minute. Shout out to all the I've been hitting juice, mimosas man. every I Sunday. I drink orange juice with, I can drink it with any meal. Like, it's always a bottle of, of orange juice of, so at our good. house because I fucking love And it's always simply. Wow, I mm. love oranges. Why so. are y'all adding stuff? Just make or just squish the oranges. Have you yeah. ever had squished orange by itself? It takes a, a long time. Oh, that's not just, not just a long time. It takes a, long, a lot of oranges. You right. use it's half a, a bag of yeah. oranges yeah. Yeah. to get a shot. one glass yep. of right. oranges. Yeah, that's a lot of that's <laughs> a, a lot shot of oranges. Man, I ain't got the counter space <laughs> right. for a goddamn juicer. Y'all yeah. <laughs> ever oranges, seen like a orange juice that was like contained zero percent orange juice? Or like zero percent oranges? They make it. They make it small. That's what you do. say orange juice. Yeah, from concentrate, but they'll brag. No, <laughs> yeah. They'll brag with big letters on how much juice they do have. It'll yeah. be like contains twelve percent juice. juice. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Arti yeah. What kind of juice? Ninety-seven artificial <laughs> <laughs> flavors. <laughs> I don't think I mean I don't think anybody realizes that that twelve percent really has nothing to do with the orange juice either. That's the part that's the funniest part to me. Where it says twelve percent juice. And you look at it, it's not, it has nothing to do. It's like orange flavoring. Yeah. yeah. Orange coloring. Oh, they even lying like about that? It's not even it's orange so many juice. Things, even when you go to the sushi thing. spot, though, you got you to gotta be careful what you order and, and read everything. If it says crab meat, it's not crab. That's the stuff they've pressed together right. and colored yep. like crab. Oh, and, it's mostly and fake. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly fake. Imitation you crab? It has to say yeah. crab. If it does not say crab, it is not crab. crab. If it says crab meat, it's imitation crab every time. What a and verbal And so if loophole. they don't actually have crab, me. you have to ask. Like, I always sub mine for, like, <laughs> smoked salmon or something like that. But if it says crab meat, it is not Let me, Hey, mm, low-key, though, crab, imitation crab kind of hit. Yeah, and it sushi? gives you the I mean, sense of fish. It's, it's just fish that has crab like flavor. Oh, it's oh, fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just white they, 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 the leftover orange fish flavoring. they press together, yeah. the and then they put the dye on it to make it look orange like crab meat. But it's just it's pressed together. Let me, tell you, let me tell you how genius the marketing Weak. company is with McDonald's back in the '90s. They had said now serving 100% uh, meat, uh, ground beef. Mm -hmm. When they say now serving 100% ground beef, that was the name of the company. 100% ground beef. Shut up. And they Shut up. No. You're lying. No. Look it up. Look it up. Look it no up. way. And, look, and, and, no. Then, and then the company. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No way. No way. The company no wasn't way. The way. No, nope, I don't believe you. No, I don't believe a, it. No, no. I urban don't believe legend. it. I can't believe it. It's an urban legend. It was 100% real meat. That's what it said. What? what? So then was the company was 100% real meat? The company was called 100% real meat real me and didn't have 100% real meat? Yeah, no, because it was. That's the name of the company. No, but I'm saying, did they not have 100% real meat? That's the name of the company. Like, like there's, I, I there's certain that. companies that have organic. I want proof. There's certain companies that's titled organic. That's not organic. That's, that's the name of the brand. The, the Claim term organic McDonald's is not buys FDA their meat from a term. company called God, 100 no, percent beef, oh God. which allows them to legally but deceptively claim <laughs> they use 100 percent beef <laughs> oh, in the hamburgers. Hey. Hey. Snope says false. Okay. Distrust of large corporations. And unease with what might have been deliberately incorporated into food not prepared by our own hands have served to create product rumors about inferior or even yucky ingredients being slipped into the fast foods we routinely ingest. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Another. I don't like the rumor. Okay. It's another, it's another rumor. Snow. Another rumor attached to McDonald's uh, asserts the company gets around truth in advertising laws regarding the meat in, uh, it uses in its burgers by purchasing the commodity from a misleadingly named company. In different versions uh, of the rumor we've encountered, the complicit business entity is named the All Beef Company, 100% Beef, 100% Beef Company, or even in the versions told <laughs> down under, 100% Australian Beef. There's like, there's, wow. there's regional rumors for this. What? This legal fiction supposedly enables McDonald's to continue to advertise sorry, its burgers yeah. as using 100% pure beef as they incorporate the meat. Okay, so is it true? Because that sounds well, like it's true. That sounds like it's like like very true. Uh, but it said beef. false. Oh, yeah, wow. I, I that never don't sound. Up. I just heard. But you, you had an explanation for it. Yeah. yeah. For what? For no, the... I was saying the term organic. Unfortunately, so there's certain terms out there that aren't regulated by the FDA, so you can put that on there. Yeah, you can be organic on any food, and it's not organic. It just gross. It's just a gross. It's the logo of organic, right? Mm. So you can oh, say organic. No. 
you know, uh, well, burgers. It says, is it true? It says, no. The beef that we use comes from Australian farms. McDonald's Australia only ever uses premium export quality beef. Our patties are made by two companies, OSI Foods and Australian Food Corporation. Mm. So it's, it's, it's saying that the, the claims is false, but I'm confused. McDonald's got money, yo. They can probably Listen, cover that up. I just found out that American cheese is not actually cheese. What is it? Oh, Jesus. Um, ah, quit. If there is no American cheese. So, oh. like Kraft Singles, if you look on the package in the Kraft Singles, it doesn't say cheese. It says Kraft Singles. Because it's technically oh, shit. not cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yo. Yeah. I've never said Kraft Singles cheese. No, it That's not. not even a title. So, Kraft no. Singles can be boy. whatever the hell they want. <laughs> it's just Kraft a yellow singles. card. That can yellow be, that can be yellow paper. cheese. Okay, it says right here. That those who continue to harbor doubts about the 100% beef claim, uh, it, it says Cheap that uh, if you go to their website, all the chain's hamburgers are made from 100% beef patties. They define beef patty as being 100% pure USDA inspected beef, no additives, no fillers, no extenders. And in 2018, they announced they're using fresh, not frozen. They announced. <laughs> I said, okay, shit, all right? Y'all get a little too close. Uh, you think McDonald's <laughs> is paying off Snopes? Listen. <laughs> oh, hold on. Craft cheese. Yeah, I want to. If you look at the package, I got to pull it up right here. It says Craft Singles American, no artificial preservatives or flavors. It does not say cheese anywhere yeah. on There's the package. There's cheese. In, so, so according to the FDA, it's considered pasteurized, processed American cheese. Is that's what that's what Craft Singles are. But for it to be considered true cheese, it needs to have more than half of it. Be actual cheese, which are curds of pressed curds of milk, yeah. mm. and that's not what's in Kraft Singles. Oh, oh. it's mostly oil. I'm here having a grilled cheese sandwich, thinking I'm getting the protein and milk, and that shit ain't <laughs> it. It ain't gonna change though. You still gonna have that grilled cheese. Oh, you yeah. not. Yeah, you want to be real. You eating grilled up. cheese? You're not doing it for the health benefit. <laughs> hey, listen here. You, you listen here. That, that, grilled that, cheese. That, uh, uh, um, scrambled eggs with the cheese. I'm Yo, gonna go for that still. I always, I always get cheddar. Oh, yeah. Okay, cheddar. I always get cheddar in yeah, my yeah. in my cheese. I cheese never do American cheese anyway. Yeah. Cream cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean, not cream cheese. Grilled cheese with with craft. I don't know. Yeah, the, I gotta do cheddar. Bro. It's really you gotta do Your regular. Cheese choices is trash. Yeah. What the hell? Check out what is Y'all wait, wait. You guys are going. You guys are doing the extra step to find yeah. different cheeses I, to go to. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's I had an extra step. Literally looking to the left. Yeah. They're on the same way. Because it's an experience. It's a taste. Are you burning the Short outside of the cheddar? bread? Tastes like, different. Burning it? Yeah. No, not burning it. Like, like crisping. Cri it. Yeah, crisping. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I, hate I use just I bread. use like potato bread. Yeah. For the grilled cheese, mm. it's got a little bit more to it, bread. and it tastes good. And then you put that cheddar on there. Come on, man. Talk oh, dirty to it. It's good. God. It's really good. Talk dirty to it. And I didn't, I didn't like this till I was an adult. I thought it was a white thing till I was an adult, but the, dipping it in tomato. Oh, tomato. tomato oh, come soup. on, this baby. Is so it's not we're cooking. Listen, it's an actual I, thing. I was in the cold night, and you're just I like, bro, just dip that what war are you surviving with that What war? What war are you surviving with this snack? I love a squash bisque. With hickory bacon oh, shit. crumbles on top because the squash on. bisque. Get this tax bracket Bro, right there. My, Trader cook Joe's? It. Nah, cook it. My the, a squash my, bisque? Yes, God it's damn. so good. Because the squash hard. bisque is sweet. That's like an insult. It's sweet. And then the, the hickory, bitch. The hickory <laughs> <laughs> bacon is salty going together. Oh! Mm. Wait, you mix Clean. that with the grilled cheese? No, no, no. I just, I just, just. I'm, I'm a soup guy. I'm saying uh, like, okay. this is one. We of went the all the way from to no, soup. No, soups are yeah. so overrated. I feel like the more overrated? older you get, the, no, yeah. I mean underrated. underrated. Oh, the more yeah. older you get, the more you appreciate yes. soup. Yes. Oh my god! I didn't find out about soup plantation Whoa. until like a year and a half. No, a year and a half before the pandemic. I did. And then the one closed me closed. Yeah, yeah. I went there. Same. I went there. Next to the one right across. I went in there. I was like, "There's no." Like real food here. <laughs> I didn't really like that, and I grew up with just like Campbell's canned soup. Yeah. Yep. Once I heard learned about like homemade, like yeah. like real real soup. Ah, love soup. Man, man. Soup miso soup. soup was my jam. Miso hit every time. Ooh. Miso yeah. hits every time. Can't go wrong with soup. It. I mm -hmm. love soup. Miso hungry. Your expression was killing me on that. See, oh, that's what? why people get on your case about the craft cheese thing, man. It's Every trash. other single. I don't. You yeah, talking about war rations? Yeah. Crafts. <laughs> Bruh. War, Civil War rations. <laughs> you over here describing legit grilled cheese and tomato soup. Like you got, you got to pick what it's that good. looks good. No, like. I'm it. expecting you to like, like wrap a, a fucking bandana underneath your neck and just be right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like bro, this is wartime. It's, 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 it's like so good. 
<laughs> after a baseball game. <laughs> oh, God. You know, you know no your way. macaroni and cheese don't have no cheese in it. It's just powder. There's no crispy top. Apparently, here we go. Here we go. You were so. eating macaroni and... It's about the consistency of the flavor. It's cheese it's, just, it's noodles. It's, the it's, consistency like, of the it's like lemonade. It's cheese aid. It's, it's what you do. They pour cheese aid on top and, of the noodles. On and the cheese are <laughs> Let me tell you something. The noodles is a poop. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, that you scary. We want to oh, thank our special boy. guests. We got Mark Wesley in the house. We got Cleo Thomas. Yeah. We got Dion Lack. Thank y'all so much for the Scary Squad and the Rewatch Game for picking up. And then the people that are watching on the Thursdays, man, thank y'all so much for watching it. Two Actually, Bite Rule. Uh, yeah, and look out for Two Bite Rule. Two Bite Rule. Uh, already on uh, the Kevin Stage Studios app, but it's going to be on YouTube come this Thursday. Same day this drops is where... Uh, no, Wednesday, right? Did she say Wednesday or Thursday? We drop Wednesday. Wednesday. We drop Wednesday. Wednesday. So a day before this drops, you can go check that out. Uh, also... I'm actually free all February. So, Pat, do you want to commit to doing another live episode of this? Hell Maybe yeah. in L.A. We can do oh. it in L.A. or San Diego. Hey, so look out for that. that. Don't get hippie on that today. Fantastic. And uh, we'll probably drop the the flyer in the next couple of days. Can I so. congratulate you on Abby uh, Elementary, bro? Congratulations. Hey, thank you, man. Bro. Yeah, man. We yeah. should. I was shot. It's shot already. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's shot already. It, is, yeah, it is a hilarious episode. My yeah. family loves that show. Shout out to them for letting... Actors be them. Like I went in the most ridiculous. I just knew they was gonna tell me to pull it back. I went in yeah. hot, and they was like, "Yes, yes, more." Wow. Wow. Did you they know, like break script and stuff? Huh? You got to like leave script. I did. Oh, nice. I did. I, I broke script a, little, a couple times, but we did it. We did it uh, the script, uh, on script first, on, yeah. on book first, and then they, they let me go like crazy. I was like, "Yo, can I get one more balls in the wall?" And I, the director, um, I think his name was Randall. Never met anybody like him. He had a shot in mind, and he just went and grabbed the camera off of one of the camera off shoulder. It was like, I want to do this. And Love he it. did that on like six different scenes. Love mm -hmm. I've never seen a director be like, I have this vision. I want to do this. And it was so dope. Such a beautiful experiment. Shout out to Quinta. I was filming the day after they had won uh, the Emmys. Uh, and it was fantastic that just the whole the so whole team over there. Oh man, it was just oh, good man, energy. It was just great energy. So that's yeah, dope. man, look out for that as well. And uh, look out for uh, my episode on Black Lady Sketch Show coming out uh, this year as well. So. Beautiful, yeah. man. Come Killing on, now, brother. Let's Thank y'all so much go. for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of Damn It and That You Scary. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye, guys.